that is so fetch. Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lexi and today I'm doing a back to school get ready with me. It's just gonna be a super light, natural, glowy makeup routine, something that you can do every single day. And then we're gonna do some Mean Girls inspired outfit ideas. I love the early 2000s, I love Mean Girls, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, let's just get into it. I haven't washed my face yet or anything, so we're gonna go from the top. Right now I've been washing my face with Proven Skincare. It's a light cleanser, you can use it morning and night. And I always end with a cool rinse just to tighten up my pores. I got my shirt all wet. Oh well. Then I go in with a light moisturizer. This one is also from Proof and I have their three-step system. It's a moisturizer and a sunscreen combined, so it makes my skincare routine go even faster than it already does, which I love. And I always apply it on my neck too because your neck skin is very sensitive and fragile, just like the eyes. And any extra, I rub it on my hands because your hands are also prone to aging quicker too. Okay, so I have two serum sprays that I wanted to introduce you guys to because they're newer in my routine, so I don't think I've told you guys about them yet, but they are both from a brand called Dialba. They're very popular with Korean skincare and that is like top notch, best of the best skincare. Quick fun fact, Dialba was actually inspired by white truffles, which is one of the world's top delicacies and they're grown in a small village in Italy. These mushrooms are super valuable. It takes like seven to 10 years before they can be harvested. I think of it as like fine wine or something. And Dialba actually means dawn in Italian and it will bring your skin back to life with its flawless and pure and valuable ingredients. I love the meaning of it. The Dialba products are all infused with white truffles. It's amazing for sensitive skin, for dry skin, and I'm gonna explain more about each bottle right now. So this is called the First Spray Serum. It also has white truffles in it, just like the pinker tinted one. And this is a serum that I spray on my face in the morning before my primer, just whenever it feels extra dry and it needs extra moisture. And in the winter, it seriously comes in handy. So I know I mentioned that both sprays have white truffles in them, but what makes this spray different from the other one is that this one actually has avocado oil in it and that's actually a superfood. So it's so good for your skin and it helps with wrinkle care and just brightens your skin overall. Just make sure that that before you use it, you shake it up really well to make sure that all the layers are mixing and are fully balanced. I like just completely soak myself in it. I don't go light on it at all because it absorbs so well and my skin is always so happy after I have it. But then after I let this sit for a second, I will apply my primer for my makeup. Right now I'm using the Plump and Prime from Too Faced. After I put on my primer and before I start my makeup, I always prep my skin with the White Truffle Vital Spray Serum. This one is the lightweight moisture one. I just find that whenever I use this before I do my makeup, it makes my makeup go on so much smoother. It glides right on my face and it sits so well all throughout the day. I like to do this as the last step before I apply my makeup because I just feel like it glides on so much easier. The makeup just sits on the skin so much better and it lasts longer too because there's a good base. I'm going to do a real quick makeup routine right now and I'll talk you guys through what I do. For a lighter makeup look like for going to school or just a daytime look, I like to use Skin Fetish Perfection Foundation. It's really light. It's like buildable too. So, okay. It looks like it's not my shade, but I promise it is. You just have to kind of keep rubbing it in. It is so easy to rub on. It's almost like a moisturizer. That's how light it is and how easy to move around it is. You literally just need one pump. I always apply it to my neck too, to make sure that my face and neck match as much as possible. There's still a little bit uneven, but I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer now to make my face as tan and as sun kissed as my body. Look at the glow between the foundation that I use and the DL the Vital Spray Serum. My skin is so glowy. Next, I'm gonna go in with a darker shade of the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just gonna like get like around the top of my forehead and maybe like along my cheekbones just to do some natural bronzer. I don't like to look cakey, so I really like using cream tinted makeup for my bronzer and blush, and I'm out of the actual cream, so I'm just gonna use this Tarte Shape Tape. Then I go in with my brush and I just kind of press it in and then I'll brush it out and upward. Right here on my chin, that's just kinda to create like a fake jawline for me. So I learned this trick on TikTok actually, 
where you basically contour right here beneath your lip to create like more of a pout or the illusion of more of a pout. My blush routine is very simple. I just go in with the hourglass blush. I'm using the shade Sacred. I like doing it across my nose for a more sun-kissed look. It's more natural. It just looks sweeter and more youthful. I go in with my Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is another viral TikTok makeup product. I'm obsessed with it. Just kind of use a little bit of all of these except for the dark one because I, again, want to create like a highlighted, light, dewy, glowy look. So probably just go back and forth like this. Kind of do it in the shape of a Nike swoosh at the top of my cheekbone and then up above my eyebrow. Okay, onto my brows. I'm just gonna brush them upward. I really don't wanna do too much to them. I really want like a natural look for daytime. And also my eyebrows are naturally dark. Like there's no product on this right now. After that, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a clear gel. I really wanna try the boy brow gel from Glossier, but this one is Arches and Halos and I love this one too. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way palette. It's called the Natural Nudes. I'm so sorry, this is disgusting. I use it all the time. I'm just gonna take the shade Petal right here. I'm just gonna gonna lightly go across each eye. I always like to brush in an upward direction so that again it like lifts my face. I don't want to pull my face down at all by going all the way down like that. So here I'll just lift it up. I'm gonna reuse my Dior Backstage palette right here and I'm basically just gonna take this white shade, put a little bit on my finger, and then put it on my eyelid, just the center, just to like lift it up and make my eye brighter. See the difference? Curl my eyelashes real quick. I just lightly press on it for 30 seconds because I notice that if I press on it too hard or hold it down for too long, it basically flips my eyelashes like back and inward and that's just overkill, overdoing it and also just not flattering at that point. So I just lightly press and that's enough lifting for me because I don't want them to be like, <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm just gonna do a quick coat of mascara. I'm using the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. So I'm gonna use the edge to edge lip pencil from MAC. This is water resistant. It's actually kind of waterproof, honestly. I jumped in the lake like six times in a row and it didn't leave my face. I love this lip pencil, it gives such a nice color. I always use a different lip gloss or lipstick, but I'm just gonna use the Lip Addict Voluminous Lip Plumper. It's almost gone, so I figured I would just finish it off today. You don't need too much lip gloss because if you do it all over your lips, even on the edges, then it'll smear the lip liner and then it'll be all out of the lines and it won't look good. <laughs> if you guys remember, I used this like two minutes ago to prep my skin before my makeup and now I'm gonna spray it one more time before I go and get ready for the day and put my outfit together. I use the Dialba Piedmont White Truffle Vital Spray Serum. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my face and neck because I did do some makeup on my neck and I want everything to stay. Okay, now that I am ready for the day and I'm looking fresh and glowy and dewy and just bright and happy, <laughs> let's go put together some outfits inspired by Mean Girls. I can't wait to show you what I lined up. I will link all these outfits, including the Fialba spray serums too, in the description, so you can find that all there. That is so fetch. This fit is Gretchen Wieners. I have a hot pink top that I could wear to match her red one, but I wouldn't wear that in real life, and like obviously this is like a little bit extra to wear <laughs> to school, but um, I do like how the black goes with the neutrals here, and I like this Dior top a lot, and the Dior top is from the 2000s, so I thought it would work. In a few pictures, she has her shirt untucked like this, so it kind of looks more low rise. And then I saw a few where you could see the belt, which by the way, this is the actual skirt from Mean Girls, the exact same one that they wore. So I thought that this was a perfect fit to style. I'm gonna show you as the pink one too. That's also from the early 2000s that I have that looks more like what she wore instead of like my version of the outfit. One second. This is so funny. I feel like I'm straight out of me, girls. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Okay, in the photo, she had a hot pink shoulder bag. I can't find my hot pink shoulder bag right now, but this is a pink coach bag. I got this in 2001, I think. It's my favorite purse ever. I still have it. Typically, I would probably wear a white purse with this because I just think it's too much color going on now. I just want a nice pop of baby pink, and then the black ties in with the black skirt, which I thought was cute. Her shirt was a little bit dramatic. I have that, I just can't find it. So we went with this today because I thought Paul Frank was in the same era, so I thought it'd be cute. In the movie, they're always wearing kitten heels, so that's why I went with the kitten heels. And I put a hair clip in because I always like to put my hair up middle of the day, so. This skirt, it's actually um, a skirt. Yeah, there's like underwear attached to it. It's from Amazon, it was only like 20 bucks. Best purchase ever, especially because these little skirts are coming back. I'm kind of psychic. It's like I have ESPN or something. 
I just did this mini skirt from Kiss the Rainbow. This is an old top, I think it's from Aqua, and then this is an old tank top. You know how we used to like layer all the shirts, and so I pulled the tank top far down so that you couldn't tell that this skirt is actually high-waisted. Kind of creates some layers and creates the illusion that it's a low-waisted mini skirt. These glasses are from a brand called Otra. It's like my first pair from them, but I love them. They're so cute. They're one of their new rivals, so 2000s. Did I do a good job on Karen, you guys? Let me know in the comments if you're still watching. That way I'll know if you're a real one. So weird. She just, you know, came up to me and started talking to me about crack. <laughs> okay, this one is Katie. It's my absolute favorite. I know she wore it in like mint green or like super light sea glass green. I only have a white juice, you guys. I'm sorry, I don't have enough juicies in every color. So I went with pink and white for this, but we still have the same bag. And I did my hair in pigtails because I just wanted to switch it up this time. I layered two tank tops here. This one says angel and the second one is long and white to cover the top half of the skirt so that it kind of like flares out on the bottom. I used to wear my hair in pigtails like this every single day in fifth grade and it's bringing me back and I'm kind of into it. Okay, that is it for the Mean Girls inspired outfits. I feel like I got their outfits to a T. Would I wear them in public today? Probably not, but it was fun to play dress up and now I think I have ideas for what I wanna be for Halloween, so that's good. Also, my face gets so sweaty and like crusty looking and my makeup can get kind of gross after I film try on hauls because I'm changing so much. So again, I'm just gonna use the lighter spray from Dialba and it's their Vital Spray Serum, the pink one. This is the one that I bring with me around during the day. Look at the glow, you guys, that's crazy. Okay, I will link the products here in the description for you guys so you can get them if you're interested in trying to. Comment your favorite outfit if you are still watching so I know you're a real one and you watched all the way through. I'll see you guys next week for another video. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.